Hi, this is Greg Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. Welcome to our short video series on medical laser training. In this segment, we're going to look at uh, the flammability of liquids uh, in a CO2 laser. Some of these are going to be close up so you can actually see what's going on here. I've got the laser set up now at 40 watts of continuous wave power uh, with a, a continuous foot pedal as well. To start, I've put a little bit of tap water in this beaker. We're going to use the laser to essentially boil the water inside and I'll try to get it a little bit closer up so you can see this. Um, I'm activating the laser right now and essentially it just boils it uh, through the fluid. Now the laser definitely is working because if I put a tongue blade out here, uh, you definitely see the flames and the smoke with it. Now let's try this a little bit differently. This time we're going to use highly flammable acetone. Usually in a medical surgical setting it would be a high concentration of alcohol that you'd be concerned with, but the acetone is even more flammable than the alcohol. Now I've poured the acetone into the beaker and I'm going to do the same thing with the laser. I am going to fire the laser into this very flammable liquid and see if you can watch it here. Hey, what's happening? It's not flaming at all. It's simply boiling. Now you might think that, uh, oh I've just tricked you, I just put water back in here again. Well, let's test this out and we'll take a look here. Okay, I set it down, I grabbed a lighter and a small swab, and I do not want to get too close with my face over top of this. So let me first light the, uh, the cotton swab. Now let's see if this is flammable or not. Uh, yep, I think that's quite flammable in there. Uh, now all we need is a fire extinguisher. Okay, well, then why all the fuss about flammable liquids if we can't even set them on fire with the laser in the jar? Um, here's what happens. This is, I'm still holding the acetone right now. When we vaporize the fluid, uh, just like water, water has a certain boiling temperature, and it turns to vapor at that temperature. Uh, with water, that's about 100 degrees centigrade. Um, I don't know what acetones is. But a kindling temperature, which is where something ignites and sets on fire, the kindling temperature is much higher than is the boiling temperature of the fluid. So in other words, as the uh, laser uh, heats it up, it reaches its boiling temperature and it simply boils and evaporates, but it does not catch on fire because it can't reach that temperature. So you can't um, directly ignite these fluids with a laser. Now it's still a problem, and I'll show you why here with a piece of gauze in just a second. I have the lights down a bit now so that you can see this better. Um, I've got some gauze sponges that I've cut up, and we're going to do a couple things to them. I do have a wet towel under here to prevent the rest of it from flaming. Um, so if I take this um, gauze and I soak it in the acetone, There, it's dripping wet at the moment. I'm gonna set it down here, and now I'm going to hit it with this laser. You see, what I'm doing is like what I did before. It, it simply boils it away. Now, there is a problem with this. Let me get rid of that, and let me take another piece of this gauze, and I'm gonna get just a little bit of acetone on one edge. So part of this is wet with acetone, the other part back here is dry. If I do this again, this is the wet part, alright, I hit it and nothing happens. But let's now go to the dry part. Ooh, there we go. The problem is the same as it is with alcohol in a surgical field. What happens is the alcohol, or in this case the acetone, uh, it creates, has the flammable liquid, but what you do is actually ignite the fire on a piece of dry material adjacent and then it rapidly uh, runs up uh, wherever the alcohol is based.
So now you know you can actually boil the acetone or gasoline for that matter. I've done that before too. You can boil it and it will not set on fire until it sees something dry and then the flames quickly spread. Uh, so with that being said, be careful with the lasers and don't burn things down.